This is the case of Stiltner versus Yates. You all are together. You propose marriage, but those wedding Ooh. plans are on hold because you believe she's cheating. Mr. Stiltner, tell she's me how cheating? you met a woman two times your age. Your Honor, I, I met her through her son, okay. which was my friend, been my friend through my, all my childhood. So you've known her since you were a kid. Yes, Your Honor. All right. What type of shit we about to watch? Bro, he took his homeboy, not his homeboy girl. He snatched his homeboy mother. <sighs> it's cold out here, bro. And this it's is your cold. friend's mother. Yes, Your Honor. How did she go from being your friend's mother to your significant other? When we first got together, which was a couple years ago, she had just had her first surgery. And I did not know, I did not recognize her at first. And I looked at her and I thought she was beautiful and she was, she was wild and she was just like one of the guys. And she, <laughs> Now, you said surgery. Mm -hmm. This is weight loss surgery, correct? Yes, Your Honor. And you like what you saw? Yes, Your Honor. Yeah. All right. I sure Because we see there's before and there's after. Wow. We started out as, started out as being friends with benefits. Okay. All right. We started, but when did you realize you were having sex with your friends, your childhood friend's mother? I realized that from the first day, Your Honor. Okay. So by that point, you had figured out who she was, but you didn't have any hesitation of sleeping with somebody that has known you since you were a kid. No, Your Honor. All right. Y'all let me know in the comment right now. If you got a friend, your best friend, your closest friend, if they ask you, can they date your mother, what would you say, bro? Like, that's a conversation that I couldn't imagine. I couldn't imagine that. I couldn't imagine coming home and see, man, this going to be crazy. No, this going to be crazy. That explains it. Wow. No, not at all. Not at all. <laughs> now, Ms. Yates, he said he liked you because you had that certain flow he was looking for. I'm almost afraid to ask the question. Go, But go. I got to ask it this go way. Go ahead, go ahead. What was you liked about someone half your age? I, well, at the time when I first got together with him, I wasn't looking to be in a relationship with anybody. So the whole friends with benefits thing, that was my idea totally from jump start. Uh, of course. However, of course. However, so that helps, the friends with benefits was working for you. Yes, that's what I really wanted. Ultimately, I did not want to get tied back down. I'm in a moment of self-discovery. I've got a new body, a new face, a new look, a new person inside that I'm trying to discover and find which is when he seen me and was like, dang, you know? <laughs> and I mean, and it was like, dang, you know what I mean? Because I know I looked good. I looked different. He didn't know who I was. And, you know, I was glad that I could hold it down like that, though. Cause <laughs> I mean, did you know him? Did I recognize him? Did you know who he was? Yes, I did. Okay, yes, so did. you knew who he was. Yeah. And you enjoyed him yeah. going, woo, -woo. Yeah, I mean, Come on, though. I mean, he's cute. He's got his blonde hair, blue eyes, tattoos, yeah. nice little body. I mean, you know, I was with a 55-year-old before that. Things well, happen no. that, that, and they don't happen. And so, uh, <laughs> so I left that to keep the things that keep happening. Right. <laughs> well, you've been on that end. Now you want to try this end a little bit. All right, why not? You know okay. What I'm well, so, Mr. Stilton. I wanted to live. No Ms. word. Mr. Stilton. Judge Cutler asked Ms. Yates about that first night, so I guess it's my turn. <laughs> Did that add some spice to it, that you were sleeping with your childhood friend's mother? Yes, actually. <laughs> Bro, I'm socking them. I'm punching them out. I'm stomping them. I'm putting them underneath the basement, and I'm closing the door. Bro, you ain't going to sit up here in court and tell me you get a thrill out of knock, man, sleeping with my mother, and I'm supposed to be cool. Bro, it ain't no way. He too calm for me. We'd have had to rumble, bro. We'd have had to rumble until somebody, until somebody sleeps. Somebody is going to have to go to sleep. You ain't about to play me like that in court, bro. That was savage. That was savage. <laughs> well, you, uh, according to Ms. Uh, Yates, you, you holding it down as a grown man. Bro. Well, because I see him sitting next to his mother, and, I mean, the look on his face is like this. I don't want to hear this. He's, he's almost doing this. La, 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 la. So, which I can nobody, understand. No, nobody will 
wants to hear that. Nobody wants to hear about their mother having sex. I mean, I understand that. And especially especially not, not with your friend. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, I get it. He's just like, Ugh. So you all are, you all are vibing. Wow. You figured it out. Your friends with benefits. Where did this go wrong? Why are you here? Well, Your Honor, I'm here because I believe that yet she is cheating on me. I'm almost certain that she's cheating on me. Okay. Why are you certain? It's crazy that he said that because normally it's the other way around. Like when you're dealing with a person who's older than you, normally it's the other way around. They might feel a little bit insecure because they're older than you and you still got your youth, your looks, and all of that. So they might think that you're cheating. It's different that he think that, you know, she cheating. But she did just have surgery and she might be, you know, doing what she want to do. I kind of feel like I don't want to sit up here and judge it before everything play out and we have all of the evidence, but y'all know I'm lying because I do it every video. I feel like she did, bro. I feel like she did. I feel like she was out there getting her life because she got the surgery done. She got the surgery. She looked good. Everybody thinks she looked good. Whatever, whatever. Cool. She embracing that right now, and she said that she didn't want to be tied down. So to be honest with you, I mean, I put, I put blame on her for entertaining this like if that's not what you want then that's not what you should do but to be honest if she wanted to go and do that after her new surgery like you can't tell her that she wrong she you know is a not she not a new person she just got a new look right now maybe she catching eyes that she never saw before so i don't know man this this is this is weird i'm just not letting my homeboy all they want to say Due to the fact that out of the blue, that her son's father called her out of random after 20 whole years of, be out of being out of their lives. And he calls her and started talking to her. And then all of a sudden, she was so quick to get up and go get him. It upsets me so bad because uh, he, just, he just don't have it like I do anymore. <laughs> one thing, one thing, she's my woman. She, She's my girl. And she gonna run off across so, the country. So she, if I may. We want you right. to. I get this phone call randomly. He needed to meet his father, who said they needed help. And I said, okay, I'm gonna be that person because I am that person. I'm with, and we picked him up. We brought him back, and I said, you can stay for a while. And so now you, he's been there. So you, it, go ahead, love. Stay with you in your house with Mr. Stilton. Yes. Okay. Now. And Mr. Stiltner, you didn't like that? No, Your Honor, I totally despise that to the fullest. But uh, he does have a right to see his father. And he, does, um, and he does need to get to know him. Bro, that is your homeboy talking like, bro, that's his stepfather. That's his stepfather. Can you imagine your homeboy being your stepfather? Bro, that's his stepfather. The way he's sitting right now, bro, he can tell him what to do. He can say, get out. Bro, that's now your stepfather. I cannot, um, I don't know how you can deal with it as a man coming home or going to go see your mother and you see your homeboy in the bed about to put on his boxes and brush his teeth and then go on his way to work. I couldn't imagine that, bro. I could not imagine that. This is insane. He better than me. I don't know how he does. He better than me. But that gives her no excuse to bring this man back into this house and throw me out. When she goes and gets her ex and brings him back to your house. Yes. You get kicked out. Yes. And the ex is who you believe she's sleeping with? Yes. Now, I did not plan to cheat on him. I did not plan to even break up with him. I didn't plan for any of that to happen. I did break up with Brandon. Because I thought, well, what if? You know what I'm saying? So it didn't work out, though. I didn't want to be with him. He is not the same person. I'm not the same person. He is not what I want. And I found that out very quickly. And when I realized that, I went back to Brandon and I said, hey, I made a mistake. I was wrong. If you'll have me back, I want you back. I want to be in your life. I do love you. So you all get back together. Yes, y'all. I still don't excuse the bad behavior of you entertaining another person. Everybody clapping like she just said that she never entertained another man, bro. What do you mean? Maybe I heard it wrong, but I don't get how you in a relationship, but then you say, wait, I think I like this relationship, but then you say, nah, I really know I love this relationship. And then everybody get applauded. Like, come on, y'all. We got to do better.
Do better. The X is gone. And you, and you move back in the house. Yes, And the Sean. X moves out, correct? He's still there. What? He is still there. So yes. you're in the home with your ex and your boyfriend? Yes. That's Y'all are living together. Yes. That's all wild. three of you all are in yes. the same house. Yes. Your boyfriend, you, and your ex. Yes. It ain't no way. How is that working for you, Mr. Stiltner? It is not working at all, Your I Honor. Bet it I'll is. say he needs he needs to bounce. I tell her she's beautiful every day. So, Mr. Stillman, she took you back, you were back together, but you still think that she is sleeping with him. Yes. Why? Because she just started randomly disappearing and tell everybody that she left or she's not here when they kn all knew that she was up in that guy's room. Locked, doors locked, phone off. <laughs> Said doors locked. She's telling people she's at home. She's, in fact, in his room, doors locked, curtains shut. Yes, and she thinks I'm stupid. One night, I walked up there. She's been gone for hours. I don't even know where she's been. I, the, the lock on the door was busted. So I slid the door right open, and I busted her in there, laying all up on him, cuddling. I was like, no, 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 no. And you saw this with your own eyes? Yes. Did this happen to me? Yay, he walked in well, on you? You know, I'm really trying to recall this, you know, and, you know, at my age, you know, getting older and all. No, you, know? you can't play the age game now. Don't try age trip now. <laughs> She's funny. You would think, you know, uh, that whole senile thing. Did you do that? No, not that I can recall. Have you slept with your ex since you got back with Mr. Stelton? I uh, know. Come on, let me, let's just keep that real. 